Diary of Wimpy Kid, the third wheel, features a love chart, as I like to call it, on page 116, and this is a diagram that basically shows how everyone is romantically connected. And one of the things I was wondering when I first read Diary of Wimpy Kid, the third wheel, was whether or not any of these single boys and girls actually got with one another. Let's start by looking at this guy right here. He likes this girl, but she clearly likes Bryce Anderson. The two of them, however, are couples at the prom, and they appear to be mutually happy with one another. Next, we have this guy, and he is someone special. He is in love with two girls. Which one is he going to choose? Well, he ends up choosing girl number two. And though he doesn't appear to be smiling, she's at least relatively happy with him. Now we have two guys competing for the same woman. And I presume that girl is Peyton. If this was her, well, Greg was unable to ask out Peyton Ellis to the dance because she just ignored him. This guy, however, ends up getting with Peyton Ellis. Lucky man, dude. You just broke Greg's heart. This kid has a crush on Bethany Breen. Is he able to ask her out? Seeing as how he is standing by himself near the chocolate fountain and the snacks, I would presume that he doesn't have a date to the prom. Now, is this perhaps the only non-toxic relationship in the Wimpy Kid series? These two have actually been dating, and they are seen together at the prom as well. I really hope this couple's going strong. Fregly likes Ruby Bird, and Ruby Bird has bitten Fregly as part of the mating tradition. Fregly even writes her a Valentine's poem. But Ruby is seen alone at the prom, so either Fregly didn't go or things didn't work out between them. It is unknown who Bryce took to the prom. Now we get to one of the juiciest love triangles. Abigail and Michael Sampson are currently dating, but Cherie Bellinger likes Michael. A couple of days before the prom, Michael told Abigail that he wasn't able to go to the prom because he had a family obligation. This turns out to be a lie though, because at the prom, Michael shows up with Sherry, the girl who had a crush on him. Abigail was devastated, but she took this opportunity to make Michael jealous. How? By making Rally her boyfriend and using him for whatever she wanted. All of this was a ploy to get Michael back, and it worked. Greg is still currently available, 